Hey, so I'm back again with some more scrap wood. I have some cherry that I used for a project um, for the, what is it called, craft fair that I did last year. Um, and so I was just going to use that up to create some bookends. Or it could even be a corbel because they ended up being nice and square, which, yay, go me. That's a first, no. <laughs> but anyways, um, I went ahead and measured and I cut them. I wanted them to be four inches. So I cut them at four inches on the table saw. And then I needed um, one side of the book end to be about I don't know, nine, nine and three quarters of an inch. And the base of it was ten and a half inches. And so I went ahead and cut those to the four inches. And then on the miter saw, I went ahead and I cut both of the pieces because I'm making two of them, right? I cut both of the pieces at the nine and a quarter, nine and three quarters, sorry. And then the other two at ten and a half. Here is where I'm getting the cute little thing that goes in the middle of that like, uh, well, it's the decorative piece of the bookend or slash corbel, if that makes sense. And I got it from my mirror that I, the frame of the mirror that I built. I didn't want to waste any of this wood. They were pretty decent sized pieces of wood and I couldn't think of anything else I was like, bookends, bookends, and it wasn't until it was finished that I was like, oh, that could be a corbel. But anyways, if you haven't seen the mirror video, you should definitely go watch it. It's like in the home decor playlist. Um, yeah, it was pretty and hard and all of the things, so. But here are those pieces. I went ahead and sanded them to where there was no corner. I just sanded the, like a swoop, like a, you know, made that corner go away on both of them and kind of took away the corners of the edges on that swoop as well so it wouldn't be so harsh. Now the this wood was pre-stained. I explained this in my mirror video. I actually was going to use this project panel which is what I made the mirror out of. Well the mirror frame <laughs> I should say because the mirror is glass but you know what I'm saying. Um, so I actually already had it stained and ended up changing my mind. I didn't like what I was making and so I changed my mind and I do that often. So I end up with a lot of scrap wood. I have a lot more in my garage, okay, because I changed my mind. Um, but anyway, so I go through and I sand and I smooth, get them all nice and pretty. So here I go ahead and I sand the um, base and, and the part that would go up against the books. And I take off any of the harsh corners on that as well. Just get it as smooth as possible. Now it's time to glue them up. So I set the short one on top of the long one, so the nine and three quarters of an inch on on the top part of the last half inch of the ten and a half inch board. And then I just used some brad nails and I brad nailed them together.
And then here I'm using a um, ruler that helps you find center. I don't remember exactly what it's called. Um, I watched a Matthew Peach video and I don't know about you guys, but sometimes people show you some really cool things on these videos. And so I bought it because I was like, ooh, I need that. So I find the center of the boards and I also find the center of the piece that came from the mirror frame, the little triangle piece, and make my mark so I can, when I put the glue on them and brad nail them, I know I have them right in the spot I need them to be in. So if you make that mark and it lines up with the other mark, then you're in the right spot. That's kind of how I figured it. <laughs> so that's what I did. So thanks Matthew Peach. I doubt he would ever watch my videos, but hey, thanks anyways, because that has helped tremendously.
So here I am sealing them. I did stain them. Um, I think it was like an espresso or something like that. And I'm sealing them with tried and true Danish oil. And I did that twice. So they're nice and protected. There you have it. They're holding up my books. So cute. That espresso ended up being really dark, but I think it's really cute. So, thanks for watching.